the Lord of Lords is the King of Kings. Is the Lord is the Lord, Lord of Lords. The Messiah, the Messiah is the King of Kings. The Messiah, the Messiah is the Lord of Lords. Messiah is the King of Kings. The Messiah, the Messiah is the Lord of Lords. He's the King. He's the King. The King of Kings. He's the Lord. He's the Lord. Lord of Lords. The Messiah, the Messiah is the King of Kings. The Messiah, the Messiah. The Lord of Lords, home sweet home, home, home sweet home, Jerusalem is my home, home sweet home, home, home sweet home, Jerusalem is my home. The Messiah is the King. Of King, the Messiah, the Messiah is the Lord of Lords. The Messiah, the Messiah is the King of Kings. The Messiah, the Messiah is the Lord of Lords. He is the King. He's the King. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord. He's the Lord. Lord of Lords. The Messiah is the King of Kings. The Messiah, the, the Messiah is the Lord of Lords. He is the King. He is the King. Let's worship the Him. Hallelujah. King of Kings. He is the Lord. He is the Lord. Lord of Lords. The Messiah, the, the Messiah is the King of Kings. The Messiah, the, the Messiah is the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together as we appreciate the Messiah. Hallelujah. The King of Kings. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you this afternoon. Indeed, you are the King of Kings, Heavenly Father. Lord Jesus, you are the express image of the invisible God, Heavenly Father. We are so happy that you are among us, Heavenly Father. You have come, O oh God, to rule in our lives, Heavenly Father. You have come to have preeminence in your church, Heavenly Father. You have come to reveal yourself in the form of the Holy Ghost, Eternal Father. We thank you so much, Father, and we want to worship you this afternoon. We want to give you all the glory. Thank you, Father, for expressing your attributes in our lives, Father. Thank you for the healing of diseases that the doctor says they are not curable, but you come down and you heal because nothing can fail you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Father, for providing water in the desert, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Father, for making the desert bloom before us, Heavenly Father. Thank you for January blessings, Heavenly Father. Oh, we just thank you, Father, for the things you are doing for us and the church shall say amen let's put our hands together as we appreciate the living god let's put our hands together for a wonderful song service hallelujah that song the messiah is the king is the notes that i'm having right here <laughs> glory to god hallelujah I'm talking about the hidden mystery of god hallelujah Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and amen. amen. So the singing is done a quarter of the preaching. Hallelujah. And we'll just pick it up from there. Let's put our hands together once again. We may be seated for a while just before we go to the word of the living God. Hallelujah. How many of us are happy to be in the house of the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. So, we'll just quickly do some announcements here. Um, may we pray for Sister Bridget. Uh, she'll be traveling to Zimbabwe 
uh, for a family commitment. Hallelujah. Uh, we just pray that the Lord keep her and uh, bring her back quickly to Brother Nzuzo and to us here in the church. Hallelujah. So, Brother Nzuzo will be doing some cooking alone. Uh, we trust that it won't be too long. <laughs> Hallelujah. Also, Brother Andile did inform us that he's not around today. He has visited uh, one of the aunties where they wanted uh, uh, to have a family meeting there. So let's keep him in prayers. Uh, Sister Zunde, uh, last I spoke to her, she was traveling to Zim. And she's greeting you and uh, she's soliciting your prayers. How many of us are going to pray for her? Hallelujah. So these are the announcements that I'm aware of. Uh, if there are any others, uh, we'll get to know them and announce them accordingly. Hallelujah. So we want to go straight uh, to the word of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Maybe we can have another stanza of that song. I see our keyboard player is playing it sweetly uh, and it's agreeing with my spirit. Hallelujah. Let's just have one stanza of that as we open our books uh, to the book of Colossians chapter 1. Hallelujah. Help us, brother Colts. The Messiah is the Lord of Lords. The Messiah is the King of Kings. The Messiah, the Messiah is the Lord of Lords. He is the King, he is the King. King of kings is the Lord, is the Lord of Lords. The Messiah, the Messiah is the King of kings. The Messiah, the Messiah is the Lord of Lords. The Messiah is the King of kings. The Messiah, the Messiah is the Lord of Lords. The king, is the, the king, king of kings, is the Lord, is the Lord of Lords. The Messiah, the Messiah, is the King of kings. The Messiah, the Messiah, is the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah! We thank God for such wonderful songs. Hallelujah! Songs with a meaning. Hallelujah! Songs that make us to get closer and closer to the Lord. Amen. Want to appreciate the saints, especially those that made it for the prayer meeting. Uh, we are so happy because God is answering prayers. Amen. So I won't speak much about what he is saying, but I say let's wait to see the manifestation of it. Hallelujah. But when we pray, know this for surety that God answers prayer. Hallelujah. Now, we want to talk about the hidden mystery of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the song, is already revealed the hidden mystery. Amen. It's about the Messiah being the king of kings. Hallelujah. So, I'm not going to read the whole chapter, but I'll just start um, from verse 12. Uh, Colossians chapter 1 uh, from verse 12. Giving thanks unto the Father which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Hallelujah. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? For by him were all things created, not some things, all things created, that are in heaven and that are in the earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones, dominions, 
principalities or powers or all things were created by him and for him. Hallelujah. He is before all things and by him all things consist. He is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning and the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have preeminence. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself. By him I say whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. And you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet, yet now hath ye reconciled. Hallelujah. Let's jump to verse 25. Whereof I made a minister according to the dispensation of God which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Amen. Even the mystery which hath been hid from ages and generations but now is made manifest to his saints to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory, whom we preach, warning every man and teaching men in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Whereunto I also labor, striving according to his work, uh, according to his working, which worketh in me mightily. May God bless the reading of his word. You may take your seats, children of God. Hallelujah. So, we are so happy this afternoon. Uh, the presence of God makes us happy. Hallelujah. And uh, David says, I was glad. When they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, they will be singing. They will be, uh, they will be dancing. They will be rejoicing in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. So I believe that you are happy to be in his presence. Hallelujah. We have a God that we can talk to and a God that can talk to us back. We have a God that we can ask for favors. We have a God that we can ask him for certain things that no man can give to us. And he does. Hallelujah. Yeah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and amen. amen. So this morning, I want to talk about the hidden mystery of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, the apostle says, this mystery has been hidden from the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. And if it's hidden for us to receive it, it has to be by revelation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me take my jacket off. Hallelujah. They say we have a heat wave. Hallelujah. So today I'll preach without my jacket. Amen. Hallelujah. It also gives me flexibility to punch the devil. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. So, the Bible says there has been a mystery that has been hidden in the back part of God. Hallelujah. And God did not reveal it for all the ages that has passed. But he has reserved it for the end time. Hallelujah. And now he is revealing that. Hallelujah. And uh, we know Revelation is so important uh, to us. Hallelujah. What is revelation? Revelation is when something that is covered. Hallelujah. And you start opening it. Or something that is veiled. And then you start opening it. You start to behold it. Hallelujah. That is what is called revelation. Amen. Now, the revelation we are talking about here does not come 
by looking at scriptures, comparing verses and all that, that is wonderful. Amen. But the revelation I'm talking about here comes by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Time has come to know who is this God that we worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We heard him through the Sunday school teacher and by the way, God bless the Sunday school for wonderful uh, singing. That was wonderful. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sometimes you hear God being preached by the preacher. Sometimes you hear the Sunday school talking about God. Sometimes you hear, uh, you know, them talking about God. But today we are talking about a personal experience of this very God being revealed before you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. I'm taking my inspiration, uh, though sometimes I might not go to the exact uh, quotation, but I'll read quotations uh, where I feel uh, like reading it exactly. Hallelujah. But I'm taking my inspiration from the message, Christ is the mystery of God revealed. Amen. Hallelujah. That's a message preached 1963-07-28. Amen. Christ is the mystery of God revealed. Hallelujah. You know, on Wednesday, we were talking about strong foundations. Amen. Sometimes we must dig and uh, put uh, things aside in order for us to get to the rock. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to tell you that sometimes people can come to church and not know the Christ that they are worshipping. Not know the very God that they are worshipping. Hallelujah. And uh, as we read uh, uh, last week on Wednesday, hallelujah, if you don't get to the foundation where there is the rock, hallelujah, where you build your Christianity upon the rock, and that rock is Christ, hallelujah, if you don't get there, uh, temptations are surely to come, hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. I was talking to a young man, and I said, you know, uh, and I think I said it here in church, we have got junctions in life. Hallelujah. Amen. Zero uh, to seven years. Uh, you are surviving by the prayer. If your parents were Christians, you are surviving by the prayer of dedication. Hallelujah. That's the prayer that's fighting all your battles. Hallelujah. It's the prayer of dedication. Bring them in. Bring them in. Bring them from the fields of sin. Then when you pass the age 7 to go to, the, uh, to 14 years, you now need to have your own experience. You now know how to lie. In fact, now they know how to lie even before they get to the age 7. Hallelujah. I've got a little boy. He's just 3 years, going to 4 years. He, I, when I look at him, I say the Bible is so correct. We were born in sin. Shaped in iniquity. Come to the world speaking lies. Huh? He can deny what he's doing and say it's Cooper. No, it's not me, it's Cooper. Huh? It's just showing that in this birth, in the natural birth, we are just born with our backs turned against God. Hallelujah. But we need the new birth. Amen. And what is this new birth? I found a quotation. I read this message before, but I found a quotation that blessed me so much. Where Brother Branham says, the new birth is the revelation of Jesus Christ personally to you. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's not joining church. It's not being baptized. It's not uh, being in the Sunday school. It's not singing songs. It's not preaching. It's not playing the keyboard. All those things are wonderful. But it's a personal revelation of Jesus Christ to you. And that revelation is what holds you. No, matter the, uh, no wonder why the Lord says, upon this rock, hallelujah, which rock? The rock Jesus Christ. Shall I build my church? Amen. If you are not built upon that rock, when the floods of life come, when the storms come, hallelujah, they will sweep you away. And the Bible says, great will be the fall of that house. Hallelujah. But 
We want to be strong because trials are going to come. Hallelujah. Say to someone next to you, trials are going to come. Tribulations are going to come. I know, uh, you know, we were saying Happy New Year. May God bless you. And I, I, I believe that. Hallelujah. And I say good health to you. And I say may you be blessed in the year 2023. But also know that in 2023, there are also troubles waiting for you. Hallelujah. If I tell you that you will not have troubles, I am a liar. You will have many afflictions that will come your way. Hallelujah. Even the Bible says, all that live godly in Christ shall suffer persecution. But I've got good news for you. If you are in Christ, Christ has an obligation to fight all those battles for you. Hallelujah. You can't have a metric certificate without writing the test or the examination. You must be examined. You must be tested. Hallelujah. There can't be a testimony without a test. There can't be a healing without sickness. There can't be an abundance without a lack. Hallelujah. So you understand, it's, it's, it's the way that God expresses his attributes. Hallelujah. There will be times you look up to God and say, God, if you don't come in this situation, I'll be swallowed. And I want to assure you that he definitely comes and he comes on time. Hallelujah. So don't be shaken when troubles come. Don't be shaken when bad news come your way. Don't be shaken when things seem to be happening and they're happening in the other way. Stand there like a rock of ages and face the situation in faith and say, Lord, you have promised good things and this is just to bring me closer to you. Until the prophet says, persecution strengthens the church. Amen. Troubles are good for us sometimes. They make us sincere. Amen. They make us not to miss our prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. You know, I tell my family that if we don't pray in this house, if we are not sincere, you are going to have difficulties in the home. Hallelujah. So we don't want to pray when the troubles are there. We want to pray and be ready to face every situation. Amen. Hallelujah. Because when you pray, you are fighting battles. You are, you are throwing missiles at the enemy before he even comes to you. Amen. And that's the best way. Take the battle to the enemy. Don't allow him to battle in your house. Amen. Fight him when he's still far. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray for your children when they are still young. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't wait when they are 15 years old. Don't wait until they are uh, 16 years old. Pray for them before they become teenagers. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let them find the grace of God standing on each way they want to go. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's bank our prayers. Hallelujah. If you are at school, don't just pray about passing exams. Pray, uh, uh, pray about getting a good job afterwards. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Or for a good business. Yeah. Either way, it's business. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. If you are a teacher, you are selling your knowledge to the government. Yeah. Amen. So you are doing business with the government. They pay you so much and you go and you show them how you know geography. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Anyway, let me leave that. That's not part of my subject. So, Brother Branham says in this message here, uh, the mystery of God revealed. Christ is the mystery of God revealed. Let's start with one quotation that really blessed me. Amen. He says, the principal theme of the whole Bible, the entire Bible, hallelujah, the principal theme of the entire Bible, hmm? you hear that? 
Paragraph 121. Christ, he is the principal theme of the entire Bible. Hallelujah. If you read the Bible, and as I'm preaching, I'm encouraging you to read the Bible. Hallelujah. Do you know that the things you read, they mold your character. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me start on the negative. And we'll be cutting things as we go. Do you know that people who end up becoming murderers, serial killers, and all those things, they read these thick novels, uh, fiction stories about who murdered who, how did they break into the bank, and all that. They read all those thick books. They finish them. But what they don't realize is that behind every book, there is a spirit. So you are reading the text, but your soul is getting connected with the spirit behind the book. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If you are to be a mechanic, you must read the books by other mechanics. And you get the spirit of a mechanic. You just hear the car idling. You saying, yeah, the problem is on the injectors. Why? You have the what? You have the spirit of the what? Of the mechanic. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. To my friends without the driving license. And I'm saying it for the last time. Now. Huh? You have to read the book called K53. By the best drivers in the world. So that you catch, you catch the spirit of driving. You can feel the car that now it needs to go to gear number two. You feel it. If you are a woman, you read about recipes. Hallelujah. Of cooking. You can hear that now this pub, they, it, needs, it needs more heat. And it needs me to do this kind of a thing. Huh? Because why? You are in that spirit. Hallelujah. You are in that spirit. I know there are a couple of people who want to be doctors. You can't be a doctor and you are reading Daily Sun. You will be a doctor but a witch doctor. You have to read the books that the other doctors have written. And you know what? You, you catch the spirit of doctorship. A person says, my head is aching, this and this. Ah, yeah, yeah, let's check the, let's check the high blood pressure. Then you find, ah, it's there. This and this. Why? You have read that book. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and amen. You want to be a Christian? Read Christian books. Read your Bible every day. Hallelujah. You want to live the life that the prophet lived? Listen to the message every day. And I want to tell you, the spirit that was on the prophet will come on you also. Hallelujah. You have faith to pray for the sick. You have faith to challenge demons. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. When you hear about Hezekiah and you see how he, he brought a letter in the house of the Lord and all your letters that are coming others by SMS and by email, you bring them to the house of the Lord Amen. and you pray over matters. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You want the Holy Ghost Go to the books that men wrote under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Amen and amen. amen. Want to pray for cancer? Huh? There is a message called, Do you fear cancer? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, you become what you read. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You want to be a clown? Read all the jokes that they have on social media, Facebook, WhatsApp, whatever. You will become a joke yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Ah, me, I want to be like Christ. Amen. How many of us want to be like Christ? Amen. 
in your busy time, find time to read the word. Find time that you say, this one, I don't want disturbances. I want to feed on the word of God. Do your work, do your studies, whatever you are doing, do your washing, whatever it is, but have time. Hallelujah. For the word of God. On a daily basis. Hallelujah. I, will, I, I tell you, your talk will change. Hallelujah. Look, if we allow our children to watch all these cartoons that, uh, that are there on the internet, huh? I tell you, I saw it with my own child. The way of talking changes. Hey, this is Pinocchio. The tone of the child changes. He starts to act and talk like a cartoon. So you decide whether you want your child to be a cartoon. Amen. I want to be like Jesus. I want to be like the Lord Jesus. So for me to be like the Lord, I must spend much time reading the word. Hallelujah. Yes, there are some times where you are relaxing, but much of your time must be on that word. Hallelujah. It creates a character in you. It gives you ambition. It makes you believe. If we preach against miracles, we will never have a miracle in the church. But when you come every day, we are preaching miracles, we are preaching supernatural. You yourself, when you see someone who's sick, you already start to say, is this an opportunity for us to have another miracle? Why? You are, you are a product of what you read and what you listen to. Hallelujah. Now, Christ is the principal theme of the entire Bible. Hallelujah. You believe that? From Genesis to Revelation, it's all about Christ. Amen? Until uh, he says here, Brother Branham says here, if you read the Bible and don't see Christ in every verse of it, huh? Do you hear me? Amen. You read the Bible and don't see Christ in every verse of it. Go back and read it again. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Someone is asking me, ah, how about Genesis? Hallelujah. When we open the book of Genesis, right in the beginning there, when you say, in the beginning, that's Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. When you continue, God created, that's Christ. Amen. Huh? The world was formed by Christ. Amen. All things. Hmm? Sister Nguna, even the gold that is in the world, it was created by Christ. Amen. For himself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm. If we get to know that, it will take us somewhere. If you don't see Christ, you have missed something. Go back and read it again. Hallelujah. Because the Bible is Christ. We say the Bible is the word of God. He is the word. The word is Christ. My, my, my. And brother, sister, my desire as we are going in this year 2023, let's be closer to Christ. Let's walk step in step with Christ. Let's walk with the creator. Let's walk with the Savior. Amen. When we make sins, he will forgive us. Amen. When we need creation, he will create. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he's not like a small factory that is, uh, you know, uh, manufacturing some ice uh, for a school or something. He is big in creation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the whole world, they estimate the population to be between 7 to 8 billion of people. Hallelujah. Amen. God is making sure that everyone has got enough oxygen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God, even those that don't worship him, Amen. even those that worship him are miss. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, last week uh, at work, I went to another, another place it's a religious institution. Hallelujah. 
but it's not the things that we believe. But I was so amazed. And down in my heart, I said, but Lord, hmm? how come I'm coming to people here who don't know the things I know? Who don't believe the things that I believe? But I see they are so blessed materially. Hmm? They have the best of red bricks that I'm praying and crying for. Hallelujah. Then I realized, I realized, in fact, I'm realizing it and I'm answering myself. God is different from you and me. If I'm blessed, I only think of my own people, the people in my church and uh, the people who believe the things that I believe. But God's son, when it rises up in the morning, it doesn't choose whether this one is a satanist, this one is an unbeliever, or what. The sun rises on everybody. That's how good he is. His reign doesn't choose. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, 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 just go to Brother Pio's farm. Brother Pio's plot. I'm, I'm waiting for you to rejoice. To brother Pio's plot. It's not a sin to have a plot, man. Huh? When we forsake everything and we come to Christ, he has promised us that he will give us even lands. But with persecution on top. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. Ah, God is good. There's a sweet feeling I, I, I felt when I just said that. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So, the sun and the rain and God's blessings, he gives them to all mankind. Hallelujah. Those that believe God can do it for them and they match, God gives, God gives it to them. And you and me, we still have to believe God. Because he is capable of doing those things. But sometimes we are looking down upon ourselves. Huh? Because God cannot do anything that you are not expecting him to do. Huh? If you go to the tap with a little bottle, huh? you are going to fill the bottle. But if I go there with a jug, I'm going to fill the jug there. If I go there with a 25 liter container, you will feel it. So it's all about your expectation when you come to God. If you just think that I, as long as you are worshiping God, you are suffering and it's all good, God gives you that. Because that's your expectation. But if you believe more than that, God gives you more. Hallelujah. Now, let's see, come back to our subject here. Hallelujah. And I will try to make it basic and reach out to the young people among us and bring the elders also in it. Hallelujah. Amen. When we were growing up, we would ask ourselves this question. And I believe that our young people, our senior Sunday school, would be asking, have you ever really stopped to think who is God? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Where is his father? And where did he start? And where is he now? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Now we are going to that great mystery. I'm going to answer that question by the help of the prophet. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. And I want to tell you, it's a great mystery. Because if you really want to think it with your brains, your brains are limited. Huh? Your brains can burst when you try to think of who is this God? And where is his origin? Hallelujah. And where is he now? What is it that he's trying to do? Hallelujah. Now, for us to do that, 
we close the Bible. Hallelujah. We close the Bible because I'm closing also. Uh, didn't I say when you open Genesis chapter 1? In the beginning. And we see Christ there, isn't it? Now I've closed Genesis 1. Where am I? I'm on Genesis 0. Before there was a beginning. Hallelujah. Before there was a beginning, there was no God. I am saying what I am saying deliberately. Do you hear me? Before there, was, uh, before there was nothing, before the beginning, there was no God. There was one who dwelt alone. And he is not visible to the human eye. You don't see him and there is nothing. It's just air everywhere. There is no earth. There is no sun. There is no moon. Hallelujah. Yeah. Are we still together? Yeah. Because in Genesis chapter 1, that's where he creates the earth and the moon and everything, isn't it? Yeah. But we are looking at a time when there was no earth. When there was no sun. When there was no star. He was there. Hallelujah. He has got no father or mother. He has no auntie. He has got no malume. He dwelt alone. Amen. Hallelujah. He has got great power. He can be anywhere he wants to be. Amen. He knows everything about everything. And yet nobody knows him. Nobody can see him. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we still together Sunday school? Are you trying to think of this person? He is not yet even God. He is the self-existing one. Huh? In him, there are attributes there. He has got an attribute to be a savior, but there is no one lost to save. He, is a, he has got the attribute of being a healer, but there is no one sick. It's just him and him alone. Hallelujah. And what happened? Out of him. Hallelujah. Because he wants to uh, express himself. Out of him came a little fire out. Amen. Huh? Which we call the pillar of fire. Amen. The logos. Hallelujah. Which we call Christ today. It came out of him. Hallelujah. And then by that, which was called the word of God, he started to create. So the firstborn of the creation of God is who? It's Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. What happened? Brother Branham says, in my way of thinking, the first things uh, that he created were angels. Amen. There was a time he had nobody to talk to. He had nobody to fellowship with. He was just alone, full of power, full of healing, full of saving grace and everything, and there's no way to use that. He was just alone. And Brother Branham says, the first thing that he created was angels. Hallelujah. Then he became God. Did I get you? Some of you stumbled when I said uh, there was no God at that time. Because God, the word God means an object of worship. So when he was alone, he was not God because nobody was worshipping him. He was just living alone. But at the big part of his mind, he was thinking of what he should do and what he must create. He wanted somebody to fellowship with. He wanted a bride. Hallelujah. Yeah. I've always said the first bachelor was God himself. Yeah. That's why he came to Adam and he says it's not good for a man to be alone. He, he knew about it. He so, the, uh, you, you know, when he created angels and the angels start worshipping him, he becomes God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He becomes God. Why? There are now angels 
who are shouting holy 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 so he becomes god amen. hallelujah amen. amen and amen amen and you know what we hold the angels of god in high regard we respect them and uh, we thank god for the angels because they are the servants of god amen. hallelujah but I want to tell you something even more important than that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Angels are servants. Hallelujah. Amen. Like if you have a company and you need people to make tea for you, you need people to do production, sales, marketing, whatever. It is, those are your servants. Hallelujah. Amen. And when God had those angels, he was not satisfied. Hallelujah. In the back part of his mind, he needed a bride. He needed a bride and that's when he started to think of you. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. Brother Mure, God started to think of you before the foundation of the world. And he predestinated you to come and live in a certain time on earth. And when he created you, you are even above angels. Hallelujah. Do you hear me, Sister Bule? You are above angels. Because you are not a servant. You are a son. You are a daughter. You are a bride of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. amen. Uh, we are stabilizing now. Amen. Until Brother Branham says, who has got more power? An angel from heaven or the angel behind the pulpit? Amen. Give me the answer, spoken word readers. Huh? Do you see what God thinks of you? Amen. Huh? The only uh, creature of God that was made in the image of God, it's man. Amen. You were made to be given over the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the principal theme of the entire Bible is Jesus Christ. Amen. And Brother Branham talks about uh, the threefold purpose of why God wanted to reveal himself. We'll start by looking at the first one. Hallelujah. And that's what I was talking about. Remember, he was what? He was like a pillar of fire. The logos that came out of uh, that self-existent one. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he was not satisfied to be in that condition. Hallelujah. Amen. He wanted to become man. Hallelujah. Amen. And Brother Branham says, one of the first threefold purpose is that God wanted to reveal himself to the people. Someone say amen. amen. God wanted to reveal himself to the people. Amen. He couldn't do it as the invisible God. Amen. How can you see someone who is invisible? Hallelujah. Amen. How can you understand someone who has got no beginning, who has got no end? In that form, he is too complicated for you to understand. He is too great. Hallelujah. Amen. How can you understand someone who says, the heaven is my seat. Hallelujah. Amen. And the earth is my footstool. Yeah. How great is that person? Amen. How can you understand someone who blows stars from the palm of his head? Hmm? For you to see stars, you have to uh, use some uh, 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 equipment to look at the stars that he blew from his, uh, from his hand like that. Huh? It's too great for us to understand. But he wanted to come down to our level. Amen. Hallelujah. And what did he do? The first thing that he, do, he did was to create man in his own image. And he created Adam, male and female. We know that in Genesis chapter 1. Hallelujah. Amen. And what did he do? On earth, there was no man to till the ground. Hallelujah. So God had to come down. 
But how did he come down? He took the man of Genesis 1.26 and put him in a boat. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother Branham says he could have a hand like a chimpanzee. Hallelujah. He, he, he looked like the highest form of an animal. But God took the man, the invisible man. Hallelujah. In order to understand God, you need to understand yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Right now, someone is telling you that I am hot. Who's that someone? Hmm? Who's that someone? Brother, uh, Brother Kozo says, it's me. Huh? And that person will tell you, my head is aching because of the heat. I need some more water. Who's that someone speaking? Hmm? Are you the head? Huh? Are you the hand? Isn't it when you look at your hand, you say, my hand. My head. But who is saying my, 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 my? my? Huh? Have I ever seen that person? Huh? Do you know me? You don't know me, ne? You know the body that I live in. Huh? When you see that body, then you say, yeah, there he is. There is Brother Mure. But we have never met Brother Mure. We don't know how he looks like. This is just a body. Are, are we understanding it? We come from an invisible source. We started as a spirit. And we come here to put on a body to conduct the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. That's why when a person dies, I'm sorry to give that example. The head is still there. The legs are still there. The person is not moving. The person we were talking with is no longer talking back to us. What happened? What do we say? Usho nil. Huh? In, in simple terms, we say, he has left us. But the body is still here. Why don't we keep the body in our homes? Huh? That's not our mother. That's not our father. There. It's the body that he used to live, it, live in. And once he leaves that body, that body is useless now. Huh? You can't stay even if you've got a double story, a nice home. Once the one that is inside of you is gone, you no longer deserve to stay there. They take you to another one room without windows. No one brings breakfast. He track here, Albany doesn't pass by there. Hallelujah. Do you get what I'm saying, children of God? There is an invisible person in you, Sister Mure. That is the one that was made in the image of God. When God wanted to reveal Sister Florence Mure, he then created a board. And then uh, this supernatural being called Florence comes and stays in there. Now we can talk, we can greet, we can laugh. God wanted to do the same. He is invisible. You cannot touch him. You cannot say, yes, I saw him there. But what did he do? He also created a body. Hallelujah. But you see, the first thing he did was Adam and Eve. And Adam was never in junior Sunday school. Adam never went to preschool. He was born in that age of an eternal youth. Around the age of 18, 20. When God made him, he was already a young man. Hallelujah. Amen. Who was the mother of Eve? Hmm? We're getting someone, eh? Eve was directly created. Amen. And she was never a little girl like Abongiwe or so. No. She came and she was ripe. She was a young lady ready for marriage. Amen. Are we together? Amen. I am connecting you to the rock. 
That is important to know where this God is coming from. Why are we gathered here today? Are we just any other religion? No. Are we just a denomination? No. Are we just a message church? No. We have to know who is this real God among us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the first step was for him to reveal himself to the people. And what did he do? He, uh, because Adam and Eve fell, Amen. he said, no, I'm going to come and live among my people. I'm going to come down and I become Emmanuel. Hallelujah. But I cannot do it uh, through the conduct of a man and a woman. Because like I was just saying here, I said, man that is born of a woman is full of what? Trouble. Sin is a, is a liar, whatever it is. As long as you were born because of daddy and mama, you are just born crooked. Hallelujah. There is no university or school that you go to learn to lie. Or to do things in a, in, a, in, a, in a crooked way. No, it's already in you. The operating system in you is just flawed. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, God could not come in that way. But yet, he had to be born of a woman. Hallelujah. Yeah. A woman, but not with a man. Amen. So, what did he do? He spoke the word. I believe I was hearing Brother Pio, uh uh, you know, pray to say time has come for us to speak the word. Huh? You know, God spoke the word. Isaiah the prophet caught that word. And he says, behold, a virgin shall conceive. Amen. Hallelujah. What was it? It was God coming down to live among us. But he couldn't come the way that you and I came to this world. He had to come by the spoken word, the power of the spoken word. My, my. Talk about the power of the spoken word. Remember, one of his attributes is that he's a what? He's a creator. Hallelujah. What is to create? You take something that is not there and you come up with a product. Hallelujah. Amen. So, he was to be a creator. Amen. And he created the, uh, 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 the egg in the womb of Mary by his word. Amen. Remember when the angel went to Mary. Mary says, but how can I have a child without, uh, you know, living with my husband? Hallelujah. And the angel says, the Holy Ghost shall overshadow you. And that which shall be born out of you shall be called holy to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope I don't lose you. Amen. And with the hot weather there, I, don't, I hope I don't lose you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the first thing is this. God wanted to reveal himself to the people. Amen. So, when he was growing in Christ, it was God walking in the streets of Jerusalem. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why when Jesus was doing those things, people were wondering, what kind of a man is this one? He can speak, the sick are healed. He can speak, the dead are raised. He can speak, things are being created. He gets to a place where there is no food. He speaks, he gives things, and he starts breaking the bread. The bread multiplies. What was it? It was that invisible God, the same one of Genesis 1, who spoke things into existence. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There was nothing. It was just an open, uh, uh, what can I say? Open air. There was nothing. He spoke and the sun was there. He spoke and the earth was there. He spoke and things were there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That same one came down, lowered himself, humbled himself to live in a body among his creation. But he still had the supernatural qualities. Amen. Huh? When he's in a boat and the winds are going to contrary, hallelujah, he is the one who created the winds. 
He's the one who created the, the, the oceans and everything. And he had dealt with that problem before. Hallelujah. He had dealt with the problem of uh, storms and uh, over flooding and all that. He had dealt with that before. Bible readers, you agree with me? He dealt with it in Genesis. Huh? There was a time when the earth was all covered in water. You remember that? There was some chaos happening here on earth. And God resolved it by speaking the word. And separated the water into one place and the earth on the other side. So when he was in that little boat, he just leaned on his experience. And he looked at the storms with angry eyes. Hallelujah. And I can see him pointing at the storms. Peace be still. And the storms, they say, ah, no, this is not Peter speaking now. This is not Andrew or Bartholomew or, or Judas or whatever. This one, we hear the voice. He's the one that created that. We have to obey. Hallelujah. And what did he do? He revealed himself through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But that was not his intention. That was not his final goal. Maybe if I say it with the right English. Hallelujah. He didn't want to end there. There was a purpose why Jesus Christ came. He was coming to reconcile us back to God. Back to fellowship. Back to living in an environment where that says the Lord becomes common. Hallelujah. It can become common, but it must remain precious. Must never get used. Hallelujah. But Jesus was coming to take us back to Eden. Hallelujah. The Messiah is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. He was coming to take us back to Eden where Adam fell. Adam failed by doubting the word of God. Hallelujah. And he is taking us back Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. You know how God does his things. Amen. I want you to catch that. How God does his things. Amen. Sometimes God starts ministering even in the songs. Yeah. Even in the opening prayer, God is already speaking. Yeah. Hallelujah. In Eden, man was a little God in Eden. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. He was an amateur God. He could speak and say, tree, I'm not happy with you standing here. Uh, move yourself. Because that's where I want to sit. And the tree would say, master, I've heard you. Which way do you want me to go? To the north, to the south, to the east, west. And the tree would move. And Adam would have the He had dominion over nature. He had the mind of God. He knew things the way God knew them. That's why when God brought the animals to Adam, for Adam to name them, he gave them the name. The Bible says it was the name that was with God also. So what was it? Adam discerned the mind of God. And when a lion comes by, he says, ah, I see you. The way you are rolling, you are a lion. And God said, amen. For true, for a truth, this is a lion. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother, sister, we are going back into a place where we tap into the mind of God. Amen. Hallelujah. We pick the things that God wants to do, what, what, what God wants to say, and we say them. And God says, yes, my child. Amen. That's it. That's right. Amen. Sometimes you call it a burden. Hallelujah. Amen. But I call it God. Hallelujah. Sometimes God wakes you up and says, pray for so and so. Amen. Hallelujah. You are catching the mind of God. Amen. So and so needs prayer. Amen. It's not a coincidence. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Some of you are seated there by thus says the Lord. 
I want to repeat it. Some of you, you are seated on the chair that you are seated. By that says the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. There are many churches that you, have, you could have gone to. Hallelujah. There are many places that you could have gone to. But God ordered your steps to say your place is this one. Hmm? That's in the mouth for. God brought you here and put you down there. This is your place because I have a purpose for you in that place where you are seated. Hallelujah. Others, God sent us to you. To say, go after that one. I love him. Let him come here. Could it be true that even when I'm speaking like this, there are people whom God saw and says, go after that one. I want him in the service. And they are right here in the service. As I speak now. Glory to God. In, in, in the Garden of Eden, there was no hunger there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even when the sun becomes too hot, Adam looks and says, hey, Mr. Sun, that temperature has gone too high. Hey, Lord, can you, can you? Adam was a god in the Garden of Eden. He spoke, nature obeyed him. The sun obeyed him. Hallelujah. I see some of you are saying, mm, Pastor, the sun, huh? even people that were born in the fall, Joshua, hallelujah, when, when Joshua was fighting, uh, you know, uh, his enemies, and he was having a good time, he was winning, but the sun was setting, and he realized that if it set, it's going to be dark. These people are going to regroup and give me trouble tomorrow. Huh? He did, <laughs> he did what, uh, uh, who's this one? Adam used to do. He looked at the sun. He said, son, I see you are almost a setting. But I command you. He never fasted for it. Uh -huh. hey. Amen. Did you hear me? He never, he never uh, uh, put same cloth and fasted and said, oh Lord, I'm fasting three days for the sun to come back. No. He stood there. He looked at the sun. He says, Mr. Sun, come back so many degrees backwards. I am a son of God. I'm on a mission. I'm destroying my enemies. You go back. Give me more time to finish my enemies. And the son says, hey, this one speaks like Adam. <laughs> Did you hear me? This one speaks like Adam. We have to listen. He knows what he's doing. I'm challenging you, child of God. Speak like Adam. Speak like Adam. You are a son of God. You are a daughter of God. God has redeemed you. God has brought you back to the position where Adam was. With the opening of the seals, Brother Branham says, what Adam lost, we have now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother, we might not be interested in bringing the sun backwards. We are in a different dimension with what Joshua had. But we can see someone who's eaten up by cancer. And we can say, cancer, we still need this person to give a testimony in the house of God. Cancer, move back. Hallelujah. Amen. amen and amen. amen. Hey, I almost went further. Because you are pulling. Yes. I almost went further. Yes. You are Adam. You are restored Adam. You are the sons of God. Back in power. Yes. The power has been given back to you. Yes. The power is for you to use it. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. There's a quotation that I read sometime. It's in the Church Ages book. He says, my power is yours to use. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Oh, I'm looking for a, an excuse way to use God's power. My power is yours to use. You speak the word. You speak like Adam. And I will back it up. Hallelujah. Right in the back there. Speak like Adam. Speak like Adam. Speak to nature. Challenge nature. Brother Branham, he was going to hunt. And the place where he was going to hunt, suddenly a storm was coming. And he wanted to run back. And God says, no, 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 no. no. You are not going anywhere. Hallelujah. You turn and speak to the storm. He started to hear something. I am the God of creation. I am the one that made these waters and whatever it is. And I'm with you. Whatever you say to the storm, that's what is going to happen. Don't you hear me, child of God? I'm speaking to you. Whatever you speak to the situations that are around you, that's what is going to happen. Speak to your storm. Hallelujah. Praise be to, uh, to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know what your storm is. But you have the power to speak to it. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you <laughs> a testimony. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There's a brother. I just looked at him now. Hallelujah. He's got a workshop in Johannesburg uh, with his uh, uh, you know, colleagues where they work there. Hallelujah. There was a storm brewing up at that workplace. Hallelujah. Some people just thought that they could just intimidate them and chase them away to possess their inheritance. Hallelujah. And that brother stood on his two feet. I am a child of God. I have a right to do the things that I'm doing here. And I'm not going to allow the devil to take my inheritance. Where the food for my children comes from. I'm going to stand like Shamgar. You know what Shamgar did? 600 Philistines were coming. He never looked at their number. He never looked at their weapons. He said, I'm a child of Abraham. I'm circumcised. I'm on a promise. God gave me the promise. Hallelujah. And the brother prayed and he called us. Hallelujah. He called me. Drove to that place. We put our steps there. And we moved around. We said, the devil is not going to take these things from me. We made prayer. He brought even his colleagues and said, stop working now. My pastor is here. He's here to offer prayer and God hears him. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And prayers were made. He is still there. And moved. I happened to ask him, how did God do it? He says, they came after some time. As these people keep, kept on plotting and plotting. They came a man who is high ranking in the politics of this country. A local and he happened to hear about what the, the community was planning to do. And he's highly respected. He's got his own things. He's a very rich man. And very high in the politics there. Hallelujah. And he came and says, no. You people on this, I'm not supporting you. I don't support foolishness. These people, I want to see anyone who touch them. You touch them, you touch me. So, brother, sister, stand on your ground. You are a little Adam this afternoon. You are a child of God this afternoon. You have got more power than the angels in heaven. You are a son. You were made in the image of God. Speak the word. Stand on the word. It will be exactly the way you say it. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. amen. That's why Christ came. He came to disrupt business. Yeah, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
he happened to pass by some of his disciples and they were having a loss making business hallelujah they go to work like others but they come back with nothing absolutely nothing am I talking to some of his disciples who are harvesting wind huh? who are harvesting nothing when Christ came, he said, no, 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 no. no." Huh? He never asked them to change their business. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He just asked them to say, okay, take these nets and you throw them there where there is deep waters there. And I see brother Peter, he's scratching his head. <laughs> this man, where is he coming from? I want to see his credentials. Show me his CV. Does he know fishing? I was taught by my father. My father was taught by the grandfather. His grandfather was taught by the grandfather. We know these things. And we have struggled here. We have put our nets where he's saying we must put them. And Aguna uh, Luto. Uh, nothing. I, I feel so good this afternoon. I don't feel hot anymore. I feel fresh in the house of the Lord. I'm preaching to my colleagues. I'm preaching to my friends who are busy fishing and catching nothing. The wife is waiting for home, for at home. Daddy has gone to fish and daddy is coming back with the nets. You give the sister enough job to wash the nets which have nothing. Hallelujah. But they came the second Adam. He says, brothers, I see you have toiled. Peter says, brother, we have toiled all night. We have tried this thing. Don't tell us anything now. And I say, cast your nets on the deeper side of the river. They had tried it, it didn't work, but this was Adam speaking. This was God speaking. This was the, inv the image of the invisible speaking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Peter said the notable words. We have toiled all night. We have tried everything and we caught nothing. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. They give you a job and they say they pay you by commission. You try to sell, you try to do this. Luto. Eh? Next. Hallelujah. And some jobs have no basic. Or oh, the basic is too little. They say catch. You eat what you catch. Hallelujah. And you have tried. You have sent emails. You have phone calls. You have done this. And you caught nothing. Some have sent CVs here and there, left and right, and you have caught nothing. But Jesus Christ, the express image of the invisible, he is coming on the scene. Let's try it once more, one more time. One more time. Hallelujah. One more time. You heard what Pastor Owe said. You heard what Pastor Owe said. We fail by not taking action. What if Peter said, ah, hallelujah, Lord. We thank you for the word that you have given us. And he puts his hands in the pocket. He, there was nothing that was going to happen. Because the master said, I have come. You put your nets by the deeper end. Hallelujah. And Peter, faith in action. He says, Lord, we toiled all night. We tried everything. We caught nothing. But at thy word. I'm asking for people who can believe the angel behind the pulpit. At thy word. At thy word. I'm going to try it again. I've had disappointment, but I'm going to try again. I have prayed and I had no answer to prayer, but I'm going to pray again. I have prayed for my children and the more I pray, the more uh, 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 bad they become. But I'm going to pray again. I have tried to have a child and the more I try, nothing happens. But at thy weight, I'm going to do it again. 
Hallelujah. Jesus Christ came to disrupt the industry and commerce. Hallelujah. At his word. Hallelujah. When they put the nets there, they had a great catch. There were some brothers who didn't believe it. They went to the other side. And they said, ah, we don't want this receive, receive. We are tired. Scatele. Hallelujah. But after a while, they started to hear, brothers, Ozan, Ozan, Ozan. We need help. Help with what? Our, neck, our nets are breaking. I, protocol aside. May your account break, my sister. Glory to God. They had a problem of pulling the blessings. Eh, Brother Pio, do you hear me? Hallelujah. They had a problem of pulling the blessings. They needed more help. Brothers, Ozan, Ozan, Ozan. People will come. Pastor, in your church, do you have any people that are unemployed? Bring them here. We are pulling some things. We need some help. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yo, yo, yo. I feel like preaching and talking. Eh, I just say talking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God sees the attitude of the Nguna family. God sees the attitude of the Nguna family. Nguna family. Let me tell you. Get ready for a blessing of the things that you have believed. When your attitude is right towards the things of God, God won't leave you. God will bless you. Hallelujah. Ah, can I give you a scripture to support that? The right mental attitude ah, towards any divine promise of God will bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Right now, Brother Mure would be begging Murewa. Is it Murewa where you come from? Mondoro. But you worked in Murewa, ne? You would be begging in Mondoro Murewa. Huh? Why? Because you say, hey, they threatened me. They are taking over my, my workshop. But he stood. Hallelujah. He stood on the promise of God and he recognized the way God works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Recognize the way God works. God works through humans. Hallelujah. God works through your deacon. God works through your preacher. God works through your pastor. Hallelujah. I know where you are standing. God bless you. Hallelujah. When you follow the provided way, God blesses you. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. So, Emmanuel, it was God with us doing many mighty miracles. Healing the sick. Until the Bible says at one, at one point, the power to heal was present in the area. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. The Bible says the power to heal was in the area. Yeah. So all you needed was to be close to Jesus. Yeah. And once you get close there, the power to heal was there. Yeah. No situation would overcome such a presence. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Wherever two or three are gathered, I am there in their midst. Today, we are not two here. 
We are not three here. We are more than three. We are more than five. Therefore, by that scripture, I declare him to be here. If he's here, the power to heal is also here. He heals piles. He heals high blood pressure. He heals sugar diabetes. This one, I'm sending it somewhere. I'm sending this one somewhere. He heals heart problems. When the doctors don't know what to do, he knows what to do. He knows what to do. Heart trouble be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. My, 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 my. Glory to God. My, I'm about to close. But there's something that, that, that just fell fresh. It fell fresh. It, I just catch it fresh right here behind the pulpit. Can I preach it? You believe it. And you act on it. Don't just believe it. Don't just aim at it. Work on it. Can I tell you something? Many of you think the people that lived with Jesus physically were more privileged. And you say, oh, if I lived in a time where he was multiplying bread, where he was healing the sick and all that, you think that those people were more privileged. Hmm? You know what I just caught here? Those of us who are living now are more privileged than he was in a body of flesh. Because he is still here, but in spirit form. Hallelujah. He is here. My, 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 my. My, 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 my. Hallelujah. He is here in the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It's more powerful. His presence now is more powerful. Because he is here in me. He is here in you. He is here in that one. He is here in that one and that one. So what do we have? We have a big ball of fire. Hallelujah. Have you ever read a scripture which says greater works than this shall you do. Hallelujah. And the singer says it's a Holy Ghost promise. Greater works. Which works? For helping brothers who are in the business of fish to have an abundance. Greater works than this. When the creditors are coming and they are saying, you owe this, you owe this, you owe this, you owe that. You know what he did? He sent Peter to the river to catch a fish out of the thousands of the fish that were in the river. But he knew the right one that Peter must catch. And that one had enough gold. It had the right coin to pay all the debts. Saints, if you don't believe this, I'll believe it myself. There is a God who can pay your debts. There is a God who can open the ways to clear Skoloto. Clear Skoloto. May God lead you to that fish. May God lead you to that fish. May you receive it from the bottom of my heart. Believe it. He is there. He is there, my brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He can clear it. One day you are going to come and dance in front of the church. I am free. I am free. No more private numbers. No more private numbers. Hallelujah. I'm not, a, I'm, to, I'm not talking about a God that gives you rental money. I'm talking about a God who gives you houses. Houses. One day I will come and dance in the church. Thank God I'm free. Thank God God did these things for me. 
I was once bound, but now I'm free. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hmm. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Eh? You, you, do you know that your phone can be receiving some nice messages? Eh? Every man, twee, 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 twee. God wants to have preeminence in the body of the believers. Huh? The first step of revealing himself was to be Emmanuel. God with us. Hallelujah. People come to him and they ask them, what shall I do for you? What would you want me to do? Huh? Anything, ask it. Hallelujah. I, I don't see Sister Buyula here. Maybe she didn't manage to come for some reason, but she loves the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I heard my wife was telling me she was testifying. Last time I was preaching and I said, right now, you can ask whatever you want. Don't, don't listen to your, your, your next door or the person seated next to you. What are they asking? You are not them. Hallelujah. You don't have the same situation with them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I go and uh, sit next to the Nzuzos there, I can say, Lord, give me a house, even my first house. They have a house. So I will hear them saying, Lord, we need another, another one. So you can't pray like that because uh, you don't have. Eh? So you talk about what you have got need of. Hallelujah. Being that I was talking about Sister Beulah. She said, uh, on top of the other things that she was praying for, she says, yeah, hey, pastor is saying something, eh? but what do I really need? Mm -hmm. Apart from these other things, yeah. I'm just bored by the cupboards that I have at home. Yeah. I want new ones. Yeah. But, huh? Pastor is saying, ask anything. After I ask, so what? How is it going to happen? Huh? I want this, but I don't have the money. But anyway, he says, ask. He didn't say pay for it. Your problem, you are, you are trying to pay for things. You are trying to qualify for things. God didn't say qualify or pay or save. He said, ask. She said, she asked. And she says, praise God. And she went home. Hallelujah. When she went home, a couple of days after, hallelujah, one of her, her daughters at home, uh, she's working somewhere, and the Lord started moving. I call that moving of elements. Yeah. Elements, they move. Because she had spoken something, a desire in the house of God. And do you, do you know what, children of God? Don't miss this. We are not just preaching a prosperity gospel. But God wants to prove his presence among you by giving you your heart desires. Let me explain it to you. Brother Branham would look at a, play, a person your name is Siswe. Huh? I see you. We're living in Secunda. And you fell from a bicycle. That's why you're walking like this. I'm just giving an example. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And Siswe would scream. And say, for sure. I was once in Secunda. And such and such a thing happened. Huh? Do you think that was what Brother Branham was sent for? No. He was sent for bigger things. But before he could tell us what happened in the mind of God before the world, uh, the foundation of the world, he had to tell you what happened in your life first. I'm sure you caught me. He had to tell you natural things first that you can confirm and say, yes, this man knows what happened 20 years ago. 
so that he can now start preaching about what was happening in the mind of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So God will give you the little things that you are desiring so that he can confirm to you, he can give you rapturing faith for the rapture. Now, let's go back to Sister Beulah. She's not here, so we can gossip on her. <laughs> Hallelujah. Her daughter from nowhere, she said, her daughter has never done such, such a thing before. She just said, Mama, I love you. I feel some love in me for you. It's almost Christmas. What would you want me to do? And then she remembered her prayer in church. And she says, mm, in her heart, she says, those couples, this is the time. Then she looked at her daughter and said, ah, but this one, can she afford the cupboards that I want? One testimony gives birth to another. As I'm preaching, I'm preaching for you to raise your faith. Then she held herself. She says, okay, I'm not going to tell her what I want. If this is God answering my prayers, let it be that herself, she will commit herself to do the things that I want that I didn't tell her. And then she answered back her daughter. She says, you know what? That's a good thing. You know, ah, I'm quite flexible. Whatever that is upon your heart, whatever you feel led to do, that's fine. Do it. She says, I had kind of limited her to say, ah, this one. Can she get the kind of couples that I want? Or should I even start? Maybe she just wants to buy me some, some shoes or some pata pata. Hmm? Then the daughter jumped and says, Mommy, I have an idea. Your cupboards are now outdated. Let's take them off and put new ones. <laughs> Sisters that are a witness this, to this, that I heard Sister Beulah testifying. Can I see your hands? Aha, you see, you see. She got the cupboards. Hallelujah. Because, eh? The fitted cupboards. And she didn't ask the, the, the daughter. She asked God. Even when the daughter came close, she says, whatever you feel like. Hmm? Brother, while we are in that atmosphere, I'm giving you an open check. What is it that you'd want the Lord to do to you? Ask it right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God wanted to have preeminence. He wants to rule. Hallelujah. He wants rulership. He wants to be seated on your throne. He wants his word above of your word. Hallelujah. That's why he was not satisfied with just being in the body of Jesus Christ. He wants to be in his bride. This one led of the spirit. This one led of the spirit. Hallelujah. You know what he was having and what he misses in Genesis? He had fellowship. He would come in the cool of the evening. Good time to have a service. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. And he would come to have fellowship with his children. He asked them, children, is everything all right? Adam says, yes, Lord. We have plenty of food. Hallelujah. Amen. We have everything we need. Sure, sure. There, is there anything that you want me to do? Lord, we are just happy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And if my daughter could see here, this one is for you. She doesn't like hard labor. <laughs> She's the person who wants things done for her and uh, you know, even washing the dishes that she's eaten. 
<laughs> Hallelujah. But God was fending for his children. God was working for his children. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to fathers here. Hallelujah. Once in a while, I pass by, I visit Brother More. He would talk about his son. My son, Taku. And I did this for him. I did this for him. That's fatherhood. Amen. Brother Nguna, huh? you want to make sure that you do something and you don't want to see Abong Yue cry. You want to make sure that you supply their needs. Huh? There is no greater joy than a parent to see his children eating well, dressing well. And the father is looking for threats. You can't touch my children. You touch my children, you touch me. Start with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm? You see the smartest man in the church today? Brother Ehud. Hmm? With a bow tie. <laughs> The smartest man in the church. Hmm? Followed by Brother Subusiso. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's a joy for the parent to see that your children are well catered for. There is nothing as painful. That's why sometimes you children, when you see your parents getting angry, just know that they don't have what you are asking for. They get angry. They are not getting angry at you. They are angry at themselves. But because you are close by, you might get a one clip or two. <laughs> daddy, I want this. Daddy, I want this. And daddy, uh, the pocket is literally, uh, 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 what is it? It is literally so. Not figuratively. And the child says, I want this, I want this. Mm -hmm. Hey! He's not angry at the child. He's angry at himself. That he can't, he can't provide. And that's why sometimes he gets angry with the child. But it's the child's nature to ask from the parents. Hmm? Do you want your child to go and ask uh, who Baba was next door? Makelo? No. It's an insult. Hallelujah. So we as parents, we understand it and sometimes we fail. But God doesn't fail. When he had his children in the Garden of Eden, they were lacking nothing. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Very soon, we won't be preaching the way I'm preaching like this. We will be preaching the seals. We will be preaching the mysteries because we know that your stomachs are full. We know things are fine. The rent is paid. The bond is paid. Whatever it is, business is firing. Then we won't be preaching about these things that I'm preaching about. Hallelujah. So when Adam and Eve, when they were in the garden of uh, Eden, rightly fellowshipping with God, they lacked nothing. They worried over nothing. I tell you, brother, you can believe until right here on earth you live like Adam and Eve. Because the moment they left the leadership of God, Amen. Rebecca, that's where the problem started. When they sinned, hallelujah, one of the punishment that was given to Adam, you shall eat of your what? So that was a punishment, you agree with me? Hmm? It was a punishment. Huh? So it means before they sinned, they were not sweating to eat. Hallelujah. Hey, you move from here to there. You are running, you are running until you sweat even from the top of your head. Hmm? Say, ah, 
If I was like that one, he works in the office with his laptop, even behind the laptop, reading all those documents, sending those emails, whatever. It is. You sweat. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You sweat so that you can bring bread home. But God, when he was in the midst of his people, they sweated for nothing. Hallelujah. So, the great mystery, he wanted to reveal himself as the son. Hallelujah. And he wanted to have preeminence in the body of the believers through the Holy Ghost. To express, to be in his, his bride. Hallelujah. Sister Kanyisa, to be a prisoner to the word. Hallelujah. You want to go this way? The word says, no. I have a mission for you. You want to do this? God says, no. Hmm? How many of us live a life where God says no to certain things? Hmm? You want to be in the groups of your schoolmates, class of 95, class of 2005? God says, no. Because they start that morning, they've got their own morning devotion. Where they start every morning with horrible videos. God says, no. This class of 2005 is she. I want you to be in this group here. Huh? Where we start with the word and end with the word. Hallelujah. A prisoner to the word. We can't joke like others. We don't speak all the English. Do you hear me? Kuba, we don't speak all the Africans. Mm -hmm. Ayanda, we don't speak all the Zulu. Huh? There is a certain kind of Zulu that we don't speak. Hmm? Hallelujah. Huh? Even in our language, there are certain things that don't have to come out of our mouth. We only speak the good. We are prisoners. Hallelujah. We are led by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, I like that. How many of us are prisoners of the Spirit? Hallelujah. 12 o'clock, prayer time. I'm a prisoner. I have to go and report for duty. Hallelujah. Wednesday, 6 p.m., it's service time. I'm a prisoner. I don't choose where to go. I have a place where I'm supposed to say present, sir. Morning, 6 a.m. I'm talking to those, but I put them down. Hmm? Don't. Wake up early, brother, sister. There's a, there's a certain breeze that comes in the morning. Brother Branham says the demons are still awake. Shock them when you start your day in prayer. Hallelujah. And you make known your request to God in prayer in the morning. And God will tell you what to avoid, where to go, where your blessing is. If you are led of God, he will lead you to green pastures, I tell you. I don't know who I was sharing with, but I'm going to reshare it again. You know, I used to be a teacher, uh, teaching there in Soweto. I was still single. Hallelujah. And uh, there was a work of God in Cosmo City, where now Brother Brave is preaching. But Brother Brave was not yet there. So there was this believer he miraculously got a three-bedroomed house. If it was not three or four bedroom. And he just got it. The person who was the owner of it just gave him to live there for free. Amen. So as he was just thanking the Lord. I like that amen there. Amen. As he was just thanking the Lord, he says, yeah, now I want the people in this area to know about God. So we started services there. Amen. And uh, I would go there to preach. And I'm a single brother. I got there with my satchel because they said, you don't have, I didn't have a car then. Hmm? Some people think that we save God because God has blessed us. No. 
I was going by taxi. My own tax money. And with my satchel. And with my, uh, you know, towels and whatever to bath in the morning. So they said, there's enough rooms here. You preach and don't worry about uh, catching a, a text after the service. We have a room, a bed for you here. You sleep here. And I was single. Hmm, I can't do that now. Because I have to report home. I said, ah, that's fine. I'll do that. Hallelujah. So I would preach. Preach, preach, preach. Then after that, there's nice food set before us. Hallelujah. Yeah, that family used to say, men of God, you gave us spiritual food. We are retaining the favor physically. I said, you, are, you are good people. Hmm? Once in a while when God blesses you, think about those ones that labor in the Lord. Think about them. Hmm? Don't let the devil lie to you. And say, I, what you have is so little, and uh, you know, it, it won't make a difference. That man is a big man. Hallelujah. Amen. I will tell you something. I'm closing, don't worry. Hallelujah. Hey, it looks like Kupa really wants me to close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm closing. I'm really closing. My Bible is closed, and my notebook is closed. I just want to finish that. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, the, the, uh, I always tell my family, I've never told the person, but when I'm saying it, he will pick it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, we were somewhere, and then another brother just put a hand in his pocket, and he gave me a sweet. <whistles> Says, ah, oh, pastor, here's a sweet. Yeah. <laughs> my brother, the way I'm still so happy. You see my wife standing there. The way I'm still so happy. I speak about it every time in our prayer session. I say, you know, that's sweet. To know it has come from a child of God and he has just thought of me. I said, maybe it was the last one in his pocket. And he just said, Pastor, you can have this one. Brother, it melted my heart. Just a sweet. Maybe it's worth 50 cents or one rand. But just that it was given to me by a child of God. It melted my heart. I was so happy. And when you want to see me happy at home, they start talking about that sweet. So you see, it's not the big things. It's the small things. Hmm? Hallelujah. I'm closing. But I'm just adding these things. Sometimes you think that the pastor is taking too long. Hmm? Ask me, who should I listen to? You or to God? Yeah. So now I'm listening to God. I know I'm going to close, but I'm listening to God. I have to say this. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, this other brother, my, and there's a disclaimer to it. Yeah. There is things that I'm going to say about that. I've never felt so much respect. Hmm? I visited this brother and I was willing to pay. Because I'm one person who doesn't believe in free things. Hmm? I was saying this yesterday. I don't believe in free things. What you consider free, someone has paid for it. You say, ah, oh, pastor, I'm attending at a government school. You know, we don't pay fees. We get the books, we get the teachers, we get even food on top. And we pay nothing, pastor. It's free. It's not free. We have paid for you. 
When I say we, I'm talking about we the taxpayers. It's our money. That we pay through tax, that's paying for you. The government doesn't get those things free. They pay. It's just that you, you're not paying for it. But there's nothing free. Hallelujah. And I want to give you good advice as I'm talking. Is I will appreciate that, brother. You should learn to support one another. Instead of killing one another. Hmm? Just because it's your brother. Just because it's your sister. Then you don't want to pay. Huh? When it's an unbeliever, you pay and you put a tip on top. And the others, you say, ah, it's fine, keep change. And it's an unbeliever. When you come to the business of your brother, of your sister, ah, he's a believer, you must give me for free. Hi, bo. Huh? This is where you are supposed to put a tip on top. To say, I'm supporting my brother here. My brother doesn't get these things for free. Hallelujah. Hmm? That what I have given you. It's good advice. Hallelujah. Always find out what you can do to help. Not to be helped. Find out what you can do to support. Not to be supported. When you become such kind of a person, you go far. Hmm? Until people look at you, then they run away. Huh? But anyway, I went to this other brother. There was something wrong with my car. I was treated like a king. I was ready to pay. And the brother says, Pastor, no, you can't pay. But I was ready to pay. Hallelujah. You do a lot for us. And this is my way of giving back. I'm supporting your ministry. Brother, sister, when you do that, when you do that, you are provoking God's blessings. You are provoking God's blessings. That one was not part of the notes. I was closing. And I know, maybe out of all the things that I have preached, that part that I've said has helped somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. So that family would have service. They bring other people. Many people came out of those services. Some would baptize them. It was a lovely uh, mission for the Lord. And after they cook for me, I wake up early in the morning and I go back, I take taxis uh, back to school. So one day, after finishing preaching and eating, then uh, I went to sleep. Hallelujah. Yeah. What did I say? God wants to have preeminence in his church. Yeah. And uh, uh, I don't deny, I'm a very tough person. You hear my child. I'm a very tough person. Hallelujah. When I want things done in a certain way, I needed it that way. And I was like that even at school. And I would open the Bible for them. Spare the rod and spoil the child. So I had my own special on Duku in class. When those children don't do homeworks or when they misbehave, I really give them a big hiding. And they respected and they loved me for that. They did. Every time I meet them, they are screaming. Sometimes my wife, my wife gets jealous. And these former students of mine, Mr. Shirega, ah, hello, how are you? <laughs> Praise be the name of the Lord. So, on this particular day, I know it was a Tuesday evening, the Lord came in my dream. Hallelujah.
they are gone. During the break, you know, children are children. Children are children. Even if they are influenced by somebody, those that really love you, they will come back to you. This other one ran to my class and say, Minieri, Minieri, your God is powerful. I said, my God is powerful. <laughs> Which way? He says, your God is just powerful. I said, why? He says, there was a meeting yesterday. They said, they want you chased away from the school. So, they were going to come and offend you. And if you just beat one of them, the whole class will go on a strike. And there were teachers who were ready to come in and to be witnesses. Huh? So, I was told, teacher so and so, teacher and so, so was in that meeting. They said, yeah, let's catch him here. He's going to be angry. Once he beats one, we report him to the department. But God was ahead of them. He told them, don't touch them. And when they were misbehaving to me, I was smiling. And this one came to tell me, mm, your God is dangerous. Why you didn't respond today, it was a trap for you. God wants to have preeminence in his church. God bless you, saints. All right. So, we've come to the end of our service. Let's just uh, bow our heads as we uh, prepare to pray. We are going to ask Brother Mbutini to come and close the meeting in a word of prayer. Hallelujah. Give us a song, maybe the same song that you were singing uh, as we get ready to pray. Let's bow our heads as we get ready to pray. Okay, you sing afterwards. The brother is already here. Let's bow our heads. If you want to be remembered in prayer, uh, you want to say, God, help me. God, I will need a closer walk with you. I don't want you far. I want you to have preeminence in my life. God will hear your prayer as our brother prays. Can you pray? Amen. Let us pray. Babo it to in Wele, Babo it to us as Lini. Jehovah takes us a man last year, Bong, Madame Shange. Spong Musawa, Kogwe, Slalen Sako, Babing, Wele, Woos, and a parrot gate. Babo was as fundy, Sabab is fundy, Cecil, and I'm Shange, Jehovah, and Wele, Kuluman, Arti, Jehovah, Snab and Donabak, Ogokond and Oguaz, Jehovah, and Wele, Ostini, Sababing, Wele, Sbambele, Jehovah, Babe Timbini. Sabonga <laughs> 
Baba sakal to strini su sipa man to call is in lak, singa gabazi baba. Siaz go to mobi, ufago saba, empilunze to chop, usabu ufago gabaza no conona, entries when zet. Kepo um maba wingwell, singa pega woe chova in well, lishon jalis lock liches of Christ, wind lel and a clinis on a peel, impil go Christ, in lel go Christ, the clinis a local Christ of a wingwell. Oh, my so figure lo moya quen well, ya was hole la go long kitinis some sins of jingwell. Sia kaila baba go to strinis, singa bandona bako. Little girl born. O Christ Jesus, ni agua zua guti baba ni ngaba fundo ba human tanda. Masinga kala seba lene baba guba no tando guba Jehovah baba nti zue nye gukola guonye Jehovah ngwele. Umoya waku yesha ngutula ngapati guwe ti Jehovah ufez inda intando ya kuba. Basi akbonga kakuna na mshali nge fundo se sile esmanga zaya Jehovah ngwele. Kalu tu busi su pasta no mjenu wake busi se baba ibanda longe Jehovah ngwele nge busi so baba zvele zuluin. Konke baba sukbege kamele ngu setu Jesu Christo gu inkos na msini sweet Kuzubena Parat. Amen. King is the Lord of Lords. The Messiah is the King of Kings. The Messiah is the Lord of Lords. He is the King, is the King. King of kings is the Lord, is the Lord, Lord of Lord. The Messiah, the Messiah, the King of kings, the Messiah, the Messiah, is the Lord of Lord. He is the King, is the King, is the King of kings, is the Lord, is the Lord. Lord of Lord, the Messiah, the Messiah, the King of Kings, the Messiah, the Messiah, the Lord of Lord. Amen. We have come to the end of our service. Hallelujah. There is just a little something special that we want to discuss, uh, some home affairs.